Mr. Uh, Buck. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Mayorkas, Americans are mad, and they are particularly mad at you. In fact, even President Biden had to appoint the vice president to help you do your job. When I listen to constituents in my district, they believe you have intentionally made our border less secure. When I listen to my colleagues, they believe you have acted intentionally to make the border less secure. My constituents distinguish between your actions and the actions of other Biden administration officials. Americans are mad at, at Secretary Austin, for example, because he removed military personnel for not taking the COVID vaccine. Americans are mad that the Biden administration reduced oil and gas production, and we see the result at the pump. There are a number of bad policies from the Biden White House, but Americans believe what you've done is intentional. You've stopped the building of the wall that deterred illegal immigrants from coming to this country. You've terminated asylum cooperative agreements with Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. You're trying to revoke Title 42. You are funding organizations that work in foreign countries to encourage illegal immigrants to come to America. The result is the largest increase in illegal immigration in the history of the United States. You've allowed thousands of pounds of fentanyl to come into this country. Fentanyl overdose is now the leading cause of death for adults between the ages of 18 and 45. You're responsible for thousands of young girls being forced into prostitution in this country. The Americans I speak to believe you have intentionally undermined the mission of the Department of Homeland Security, that mission being to ensure to, um, a to safe, secure, secure and to, prosperous homeland. To safeguard our people, our homeland, and our values. There you go. American parents are frustrated that their kids can't get an education because half of the students in the elementary schools where their kids go are monolingual Spanish-speaking kids that require additional care, and that care is coming from their kids' classrooms. Americans are mad that their relatives with serious medical conditions are waiting in line at the emergency room being used by illegal immigrants to treat common ailments. American workers are mad that their wages are being suppressed by the mass influx of laborers. Many of my constituents have asked me whether you will be impeached when Republicans gain control next year. They don't believe that you've committed a high crime and they don't believe that you've committed a misdemeanor. My constituents want you impeached because they believe you've committed treason. They believe you're a traitor. They compare you to Benedict Arnold. You know, no parent with the last name Arnold names their kid Benedict. They wonder, what will the Mayorkas family do down the road? Secretary Mayorkas, I was at an event this past weekend, and a lady approached me and asked me if you felt any shame for what you've done to this country. My question for you, Secretary Mayorkas, is very simple. Would you please answer that lady's question? Are you ashamed for what you've done to this country? Congressman, I have so much to say. In you got a response, minute and 17 seconds to say it. In response to what you have just said, it is so profoundly offensive on so many different levels, in so many different regards. I, I won't ask you for an apology. Don't. Uh, I, I won't, but let me, let me share with you just quite succinctly, I am incredibly proud of my service to this country. It is more than 20 years of service in the civilian corps as a federal prosecutor and as a member of the Department of Homeland Security. I am immensely proud to work alongside the selfless, dedicated, and talented 250,000 personnel of the Department of Homeland Security in the service of the American people to secure our homeland, to secure them, and to secure our values. That is my response. What do you say to the mothers of the children who have died from the fentanyl overdoses? What do you say to all the people out there who can't get an education because of what you've done with immigration in this country? You've secured the homeland. It's a farce. It's an absolute farce. 
I yield back. The gentleman yields back.